Hi there, welcome back to Magboy Creations for another LEGO City review. Today we're going to look at City Set 60083. It is the snowplow truck. It has 196 pieces, retails for $19.99 in the US. Now I've had this set for a while and I've decided not to do a review on this until now because I have been fed up with snow. <laughs> I live in the Northeast and we have had feet, not inches, but feet of snow. And we still have feet of snow. It's just melting at a very slow pace. We have come out of our Arctic freeze where our particular region had set a weather record for the lowest temperature average for the month of February. We were at 11 degrees. Now I know that there's places out there that may have record lows uh, worse than us and no disrespect to you guys it's cold but uh, for where we are uh, that that's quite an accomplishment so now that the snow is starting to melt and the sunshine's been out and we've crept up into the low 40 degree temperatures i kind of got my groove back and I, I want to share this set review with you now as you can see there is one minifigure included as well as one snowplow truck and some accessories of one by one flush circle studs. Those are our snow that we can utilize with the plow. And that plow is a fairly new design with the curved pieces from Lego. So let's get into looking at the details more closely. Here is the main attraction to this set, which is the snow plow truck. And you could see immediately the huge blade on the front of the vehicle which I had mentioned has these new bricks which are curved in nature. Now this blade does rotate and swivel. It can go at an angle. It can be positioned this way. It could be positioned flat on the ground so you can push some snow. If you can hear that, that's the blade actually making contact with the table. Or you can lift it up so it doesn't connect and drive around. You can have it centered if you want, like that. And there's clear line of sight over the top of the blade. But most plow trucks, you would see something to the side because they push snow off to the side of the road. So that way you can not have any huge, loose snow piles. Now this is just connected to a ball and it does come off. We'll just pull it right off. As you can see there, it's just a ball. And let's take a closer look at these new pieces. There are three in total, and they are four studs wide, and they are quite big. But I like the use of these pieces. They're really nice. And just like a traditional plow truck, you can detach the blade and have the truck just go off and do whatever. And there are some other features on this truck which I can show you where you may want to do that. Here we have a good side view. We do have these uh, rear view mirrors, traditional Lego setup with uh, two studs connected. And we do have these huge monster style wheels. Again, there's no particular step up or mimicking of a, a means to get into the cab. Uh, so we just open the door and uh, kind of jump in. <laughs> Hopefully we make it. And we do have this little brush that's included as an accessory. You can attach it right there. We have our smokestacks on top, and of course we have our orange work lights. And this does not fold back. It's all connected, so it, it, it's not a dumper. But um, it does have some good depth, as you can see. Uh, these are pretty big studs. That we can see that there are some construction stickers included, as well as this thing here. Now, if you don't live in a state that gets a lot of snow, uh, or, or any snow, Maybe you're in Florida or California. Who knows what the weather changing. Maybe you did get snow. But this is actually a, a salt dispenser that are often attached to the back of a snow plow. And as they push the snow out of the way in the front, they drop salt in the back to make sure that there's no ice that forms or any snow left behind melts on the roadway to make it safer for drivers. And you can see there is a, a, a Technic piece here. This does flip up. There is a Technic piece in here and it, it connects interior to the axle and when we connect the two together uh, you can see that it does 
spin when the vehicle moves. And that is a really, really neat design to show that they have some salt that they sprinkle out. Now, there is no uh, drop from, from the bed uh, inside, right? It's, it's just a Technic piece. There's no tube that comes down, and you can't actually mimic uh, salt or something uh, depleting from the interior of, the, of the, uh, the back of the truck and onto your road surface. Uh, that would be pretty cool. Uh, you could use actual salt. <laughs> it's small enough and fine enough, uh, but then you'd have to kind of jerry-rig some apparatus to make sure that it, it leaks the salt out, etc. So we do have some brake lights and some turn signals along with our bumper sticker that has our license plate. And this does have clearance from the road, which is really nice. Uh, you can see the stop and turn signals from the back. So if you're following behind the truck, that's okay. And this is just a look from the other side of the vehicle. We have a shovel accessory on this side, opposite the broom. And then we have our look from the front of the truck. Nice grill area with our headlights and, of course, bumper sticker. And here is where our snowplow ball just attaches. Now, to get access to the cab, we just remove this top piece. And I like these spots that they have on the front, by the way. That's a really neat feature because sometimes uh, in snow, uh, especially in dark conditions, nighttime conditions, you need the extra light. These headlights, even on high beams, oftentimes won't do it. Uh, so this just adds extra light. It adds to the realism of the build. And then, of course, you have on the plow itself, you have these lights on the top of each side. So there is plenty of light that you can see with. Now, looking inside the cab, as always, we get our coffee mug, and then we have our blue plated steering wheel. And there are no side bricks next to this door, which this makes it easier to include more than one minifigure, and you can sit shoulder to shoulder if you wanted to do that. There is plenty of space. Now, we do get a bunch of these white pieces that resemble snow, and you can just spread them out on the surface. And the plow works real nice as you go by. It pushes them out of the way pretty good. When you're not using those little snow pieces, you can just put them right in the back. And if you had a bunch of them, you could fill this flush up to the top and it could look like salt. Here we have our minifigure who has the same face printing and the same torso printing as our minifigure in the cargo truck. The only difference is this minifigure has darker pants. They do have a blue ball cap with the little hole on top to attach an accessory should you choose. There is no printing on the arms, no printing on the back, and there's only one face. That completes our review of City Snowplow Truck. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Share your comments with us, subscribe, and we will send you more reviews. Thanks for tuning in and watching. Talk to you soon.